Welcome back everyone. This time we're going to talk about why you might want to learn and use WPF. There are several UI frameworks that you can use with .NET, and all of them, I guarantee you, you can find a job and a reason to learn them. This is my opinion on why you might want to learn WPF first, instead of a web framework like ASP.NET, a cross-platform framework like MAUI, or another desktop framework like WinForms. So let's start with a hard question. Why not ASP.NET? Why would we use WPF, a Windows desktop framework, instead of ASP.NET, a web framework that we could get our application to run on basically any device? Web-based UIs, while they have a very far reach, they're also limited by the browsers that are serving them. So you're giving up certain power and functionality of the system itself. So certain things like time-critical applications and system displays become impractical. The next thing is if you are learning ASP.NET for your UIs, your life is going to have a humongous front-end focus. That's because you have a lot of browsers, you have a lot of screen sizes, you have a lot of devices, each with their own screen sizes, and you need to make sure that your design is responsive and looks great on all of them, and that is a humongous part of web development. Now what this means for many software developers is that they end up being more of a designer and less of a programmer. Now that might not be a bad thing, that might be exactly what you want, but that takes me to my next point, which is the technology stack concerns. All that being said, I really like ASP.NET. It's a great web framework, but I do a lot of .NET desktop development, mostly WPF, and I have a lot of .NET libraries that I can use across any framework that I want. So ASP.NET was a great choice for me. So if you are interested in the low-level, complex programming world, starting with ASP.NET is probably not for you because there are so many front-end obstacles to hop over. If you are interested in this front-end designer world, then ASP.NET might not be for you either because there are other technology stacks that are more sought after, like React or Angular. Okay, if you're still with me, now you may be asking, well, why not MAUI? MAUI is a cross-platform .NET UI framework. WPF is only Windows. Well, firstly, there's the age of MAUI. MAUI is a very young technology, and there are not a lot of third-party packages available for it, so you're going to be doing a lot of work to get the same power that you could get very quickly with WPF. Because MAUI is cross-platform, you are going to have to deal with additional complexity because the platforms are not the same. You won't be able to use all packages for all operating systems. They may be built differently, and they may need to be tested differently. If you know upfront that your requirement is to create a cross-platform application, MAUI may be perfect for you. But if you don't, the vast majority of business PCs use Windows. So if you are starting with WPF, you are checking the most boxes for your career because MAUI also uses .NET and XAML, and WPF could be a stepping stone to learning that down the line. Okay, again, if you're still with me, you may be thinking, well, if we're doing Windows desktop development, why not do WinForms? Again, we have the issue of technology age, except with WinForms, it's old. Now, old doesn't always mean bad. It can mean more mature, and for WinForms, it meant that for a long time. But now that WPF is more mature, not a lot of new WinForms projects are being started, not a lot of support is being continued, and it's kind of phasing out. With WinForms, your UIs have a limited amount of power. There are a lot of built-in controls, but not a lot of power within those controls. WPF, you can create custom controls, you can put controls in controls, and you can customize everything about their style and functionality. Lastly is the limited potential of WinForms. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of potential left, there are plenty of jobs, a lot of software in WinForms still. However, if you get a job doing WinForms, you're probably going to be working on legacy code until there's no more work, and then you'll have to learn a new technology anyway. So you're kind of stagnating yourself from the beginning, not going with a newer technology. So now that we've talked through the major options, let's hit the high points of why you might use WPF. First of all, extremely low barrier to entry. It works right out of the box with Visual Studio. You create a new WPF project, hit run, and you're up and running. Next, it uses XAML, which is a very easy to understand markup language, even if you've never seen it before. 
With WPF, you can create immediately powerful UIs, there are plenty of built-in controls, and all of them are fully customizable. You can master .NET programming much more quickly with WPF because you reduce the overhead that comes with web and cross-platform applications. Also, WPF has a massive amount of third-party software that you can quickly integrate into your program, making it even more powerful faster. The skills you will learn using WPF will translate very well. .NET itself is everywhere, and you can use it with all .NET frameworks. And also, like we mentioned before, XAML is the recommended markup in MAUI, so you already have a step up. Last but definitely not least is the excellent career potential of WPF. There are tons of WPF jobs. Once you learn WPF, WinForms will be a breeze. Learning WPF allows you to learn c -sharp and .NET much more quickly. And once you're familiar with .NET, ASP.NET is just a tutorial away. Hopefully this will help you make an informed decision on whether or not to learn WPF. Next up, we are going to get started with WPF. Thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you. Happy coding, and until next time, as always, take care.